Welcome to the Tone Lounge, my name is Jonathan. Today we're having a look at the Full Tone OCD with a Vox AC15. The purpose of this video is to help you determine whether the Full Tone OCD is the sound you're after. I'm gonna be using single coils, P90s and humbuckers in this demonstration so that way I cover more ground. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel and also hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of the new content. So now let's go talk about the signal chain. And my signal chain today is super simple. It's just the guitars going out to the pedal. The pedal's plugged into my AC15. And out of the AC15, I'm going to a two notes captor that goes to my audio interface. And in my recording program, I'm using the two notes wall of sound with a feline cab simulator. My app setting are rather simple. All I did was crank up the master volume all the way. I'm plugged into the normal channel with the normal channel volume at nine o'clock. That is it, nothing more to it. For the rhythm part in this demonstration, I used the Telecaster and the Epiphone Les Paul. For the Les Paul and the Telecaster, all the settings were at noon. The only difference is that I used the high peak for the Telecaster and the low peak for the Epiphone. Now for the chorus leads where I have the double lead guitars, all I did was use the low peak with the Epiphone, but I cranked up the distortion to around two o'clock. And that is the exact same setting I used for the main lead part with the Les Paul Jr. So nothing fancy, it was just cranked up the taste just to get a bit more grit out of the pedals. I could get more sustain for the lead parts. All right, so enough talking. Let's go have a listen to the isolated track from that song from the intro. We're gonna listen to the rhythm and the lead parts. I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions, I'm gonna be hanging around in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Cheers.